welcome back to CNC Auto Works. If you're new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you haven't already seen the unboxing video of what I've got in this white box, it's the new Summit Racing Max Performance Carburetor. I actually ordered that carburetor to go on a 351 Windsor build that I was doing. But as soon as I unboxed it, I knew I couldn't wait. I'm worse than a, a kid. So I, I got to get it on something. And uh, I said that I was going to put it on my old Sonic Special OBS. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. What I want to do for I swap this thing out is I want to let you hear it. Because last time we went from a Elbrock style carburetor to a Holly Star carburetor. Holly style carburetor. It changed the way it sounded. Not only did it perform better, it changed the over, overall way it sounded. I can't talk today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to let my little brother fire this thing up, and y'all can hear it. I apologize. This thing is dirty. I live beside a highway, and uh, the tractor trailers are constantly blowing dirt on this thing. swapping this thing out carburetors are, are fairly simple they're straightforward to take them off it's, it's fairly straightforward there's no big deal you got four nuts fuel line and then your linkages whatever that may be you got manual choke you may have choke cable to remove but it's not a very big job at all this one right here guys lock washers <laughs> Didn't want it falling off. This thing got so much horsepower, I'm afraid it'd vibrate them nuts loose. Uh-oh. You sure? <laughs> what do you mean, am I sure? Are you sure about that one? Yeah, I'm sure. Or do they give you, like, each nut gives you five? I'm going to be like everybody else. It's a thousand rear wheel horsepower. It will sound better on a video label like that. Oh, I'm going to label it like <laughs> that, man. Yeah, for all you guys out there that didn't know, this this naturally aspirated small block 355, it, it's making at least 1,000 rear wheel horsepower. Maybe like in... Give or take 800 horsepower. Maybe in uh, miniature horses. The other thing I didn't show you on my unboxing video is uh, this carburetor didn't come with fuel line. So I went ahead and picked up a new fuel line from Summit Racing also. And if you didn't see that video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at this carburetor while he's pulling that one off. This is their uh, new Max Performance carburetor. It's a beautiful carburetor. I mean, the packaging, it's great. Sorry if you guys have already seen this, but I just can't get over it. got to say it again. Got your Summit Racing logos on there. It's got a spec card. It's just a really nice deal. Summit's other carburetors came for with a DVD of how to tune them, how to set them up. This one, on the other hand, did not. And that, that's fine. Like I say, it's a uh, carburetor's fairly easy to tune with just a, a vacuum gauge. And if you want to take it one step further, you can get a a AFR gauge. You got that thing off there yet? I'm off. I just forgot the screwdriver. Ow. Ow, I forgot to take this uh, line off here. Oh, man. This is already starting to be a train wreck. I told these guys this is easy. <laughs> oh, you got to remember to take a screwdriver. And, uh, yeah, and then you got to happen to have... Two different screwdrivers, just in case you got this idea right here happening. Well, that's one of them uh, overseas hose clamps there. Yeah. 
Well, right, guys, I jumped ahead a little bit. Went ahead and unboxed the fuel line. On these fuel lines, I always put a little Teflon. Because every one I've ever had leaked. But we got everything bolted down. Got our linkage hooked back up. And uh, we're about to hit the key. See if we got any leaks. Probably see the fuel bowls fill up maybe. I thought the floats are set perfect. Oh, yeah? Right in the middle, but I already see a fuel leak. Oh, yeah? Yep, two or three of them, actually. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Well, guys, we'll get back with you. That fuel line had a, a little set screw in it where you're supposed to put a fuel pressure gauge. I guess we're going to have to pull it out and Teflon it, too. It's leaking all that head screw. Right yeah. There. All right, boys, and we're back. Got the leaks fixed. Uh, as you seen before, the fuel fuel bowls look like they were set about right. The floats were set about right. And uh, we haven't tried to test fire it yet, but that's what we're about to get into and see how this thing runs. Right out of the box. Right out of the box. Just to let you know, the fuel leaks that we did have wasn't the carburetor's issue. It was just the fuel line. Had nothing to do with the carb. Carb sealed. Didn't leak any. Go ahead and see if she'll fire up. So might catch on fire or fire? No, I don't want to catch it on fire, but it's probably a good possibility. Hey, you're gonna have to pump it a couple times. Yeah. Hey, it's new. You're gonna have to pump it a little more than that. Alright, it's squirting. Get that vacuum gauge on there. The 
Yeah, I got one on the left side. I don't know if y'all caught that, but there's two different ports. There's a constant and then like a pulse port. That's for more like your uh, vacuum vents on your distributor. It only has vacuum when uh, the throttle cracks. As you can see there, we're already making like 13. What you do to tune this is you uh, see a little idle circuit here. You're going to turn them so you can get the max cover out of your gauge. That's inches of mercury. Basically what that's from, or what you're trying to do. I'm gonna grab a small flathead screwdriver. And when you adjust these, you're gonna to wanna to adjust them in like quarter inch or quarter turn increments. And you're gonna want all of them exactly the same when you're done. You don't want this one out three turns and you're back without half a turn, you're going to want to do this to where all over is exactly the same. You can see there that we already went up to 14. And that was with uh, half a turn in. You can see there it's going up a little more with half a turn on the back. These in. The idle's already smoothed out quite a bit. Oh, our vacuum's starting to drop. So basically, what we're going to need to do is back these other ones on, a, on this side. We're going to back them up a quarter. And we're going to go in a quarter on the other side. tuned on the carburetor a little bit. Definitely sounds like it has a bit of a more wilder cam. Clutch in this thing, and it 
it just it just don't like disengaging fast enough to to speed shift so don't hate on my granny shift in here